Deep Freeze Show, and you just heard Ross from McCabe's song, See You Soon. Um, I'm obviously a big fan of Ross from McCabe, and if you haven't seen the last episode, I had put their hit song, Stargazer, in there. Um, so anyway, tonight I just want to review Woodchuck Spring Cider. I know it's a little bit late on the uh, Spring Cider, but I guess still technically it is spring, um, until what, June 21st, I think? So, I was going to also um, give a little review of the uh, Joker uh, Ace Hard Cider. And it's a 6.9% alcohol cider. Um, it's supposed to be like a dry champagne-like cider. Um, I tried it. I actually did like it, but it was it's one of those that I wouldn't be able to drink consistently. Um, like, say you were to get a six-pack, that's one that you could probably only drink a couple of before you start to feel just a little sick and just kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth. Um, something that I really like about Woodchucks, just pretty much all of them, is... Um, you know, it keeps the palate wet, keeps it refreshed, and you can, I mean, kind of keep on drinking them, and it still, you know, really don't give you any of that gut rot or don't make you feel bad at all. Um, so this one is, a, let's see, five percent alcohol. They're either four percent or four, four and a half percent or five percent alcohol. And um, so this one, see, what they had claimed in Vermont is, um, you know, what they're used to is really the tapping of the trees, you know, to get the uh, sap for making maple syrup. So in this one, they actually bring in the ingredients of maple syrup and brown sugar, which I find really interesting. Um, so I just kind of want to give a little taste for you guys. Now, before I had even taken a drink, you just instantly smell that maple syrup. And it's really interesting. I, you know, I like when you can actually smell what you're tasting, you know, because obviously they go hand in hand and, well, you certainly smell it right away. Now, this is one of their stronger flavors. Um, usually it's, you know, got just a lot more smooth flavor. Not that this isn't smooth at all, but it's definitely one of those that's, you know, stronger, a lot more, you know, presence than uh, normal. I really like this one. It's something that I could definitely drink a lot of, actually. Um, just, you know, once again, a really good, refreshing taste. And I've never had one of the Woodchucks, uh, especially the limited release, you know, um, I guess editions or whatever you want to call it, that I really didn't like. Um, I guess... The one that I, the one woodchuck flavor that I, you know, I don't dislike it still, but it's my least favorite, I guess you'd say, is uh, the raspberry. I normally don't really like raspberry flavors, except for the Earth Cafe and the Cheesecake Face Off. Uh, just the way that they did the raspberry flavor, it was just, you know, really different, really cool, and uh, just something that I, you know, really enjoyed, I guess. Um, but as far as the woodchucks, I mean, I like every single flavor. Um, there's just really not many ciders that can compare to it. Uh, the crisp insiders, you know, I mean, I like, but I'm still not crazy about them. Um, you know, but just the woodchuck, I, you know, it's just my thing, I guess. You know, I really like it. Um, I've tried some of the greens beers, and if I could get a hold of them more often, then I would probably drink that a lot. I mean, I obviously miss the beer flavor and everything like that, but uh, woodchuck's just so easy for me to find, and, you know, I like the flavor so much that, you know, why not stick with it? But, um... Yeah, I just, yeah, this flavor is something else. Um, and that brown sugar, you can really taste it, especially when you do the little, the palate thing. Uh, it really comes into play, so it's more of an aftertaste, but that maple syrup, it just comes on, you know, right away, and i just <laughs> big fan of this. Um, so I'm trying to think for the next episode, I was thinking about doing a, uh, an article review. I was talking about possibly doing the one about the, um, the gluten-free cupcakes as a ransom note in Brooklyn. So I think I'll probably end up doing that one still. So, uh, that should be everything. So you guys have a good night, day, morning, whatever, whenever you're watching this. Um, do appreciate that you're watching it anyway. So, uh, if you always want to stay up to date with the show, you can always follow me on Twitter at the G Free Show. Um, or always you can just uh, like the Facebook fan page. I just put the link at the bottom because, uh, again, I think it's under 100 followers on, you know, that one certain page. Then you don't have a short URL. So uh, go ahead, check those out, and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, thanks a lot, guys, and you have a great night.